Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I really wanted to get on top of the blonde tortoise shell trend that is currently all over Instagram and give it a go myself. So that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video and this is what it looks like. Now I was in a bit of a rush and I just wanted to get something onto my nails so it's not perfect but for a first go I am pretty proud of it. So if you want to see how I did this and learn it yourself then keep on watching. take any white polish of your choice. So I'm using Cream Puff by CMD Shellac. This is just what I have to hand and to be honest it's not one of my favourites. I find it really difficult to get a good white and a good black polish that give you the right opacity in a few coats. So you might find that you need two or three I ended up only doing two coats because most of the white is actually going to be covered by the design so I wasn't all that bothered. So the next step is to use a blossom gel. Now these are amazing because once you put another type of polish into them they just sort of disperse and that's how you get that cool snake skin effect which I decided to try to do in the background of this. So what you want to do is apply one layer of this, it's a clear polish obviously and I am going in with a very very light grey in the background and as I apply that to the polish it will just start to blend in so there won't be any harsh lines, it's not all that obvious but that's all I wanted, I just wanted a little bit of colour in the background to break up from the bright white. So I'm going over all of my nails and doing that and it doesn't need to be anything special, just do it randomly, doesn't need to be pretty, these don't look particularly pretty but it all adds to the final design at the end. Once you're happy with that, cure that coat and go in with another layer of the Blossom Gel and then I am taking a purpley brown grey and that is because I've seen that in the blonde tortoise shells a lot of the times there's a sort of purple burgundy hint. I thought this would be quite good to have in the background and you can see that as I'm applying it for example now that I'm on the forefinger if you look back at the pinky it has started to disperse and is blending in really nicely and it becomes much less of a harsh shape. I'm going in with a level darker than the last polish. This is more of a mauve grey sort of colour and I'm using my dotting tool just to apply that in irregular asymmetrical shapes all over the nails just like that. It's as easy as that and I'm trying to go a little bit more over the brownish sort of background that I've put just so that it looks like it's blending together and that the depth is in the right places but this doesn't have to be neat or tidy as with any tortoise shell. All of it just adds together for the final design. You want it to have some depth, you want there to be different shades of colours in there and most of all you don't want it to look like you've tried very hard because it just takes away from the final effect. So I haven't applied a blossom gel on this layer, this is just straight on top of the tacky layer. You don't want to disperse this colour. What I did decide to do was to add a very faint shimmery pink polish on top of this just to take away the really bright white because I don't personally love wearing white on my nails. So that is a step that you can choose to do or you can miss out. Then when you're ready you can move on to adding your black. So you want to do the exact same thing that you've been doing all along, going in with your dotting tool and just adding some black irregular shapes. Try to overlap where possible with some of the previous colours as if you look at tortoise shell it does tend to do that. Add as many or as few as you want and when you're happy cure that and let's move on.
final colour sort of step, I'm going back in with that shimmery pink polish just to add another layer to take away the harshness and it just helps to blend things together really nicely. So the same way that you add another layer of the caramel colour to tortoise shell once you're finished with it, I'm just doing this again with the shimmer polish. Plus I can't help but say that I love a little bit of glitter and a little bit of shimmer in my nails. So for me it's a pretty necessary step but don't feel like you need to do this, you can totally miss this out. The tortoise shell picture that I'm trying to copy just happened to have a nice purpley pinky colour to it and that was what I wanted to recreate. As always, I prefer a bit more structure and strength so I went ahead and added a layer of Magpie Give Me Strength on top of that. So that is that buffed and ready to go and then I'm going in with my trusty top coat just to finish these nails off. Now you can totally leave them matte if you want, but like I've explained in previous videos, I love my nails shiny, so I'm not going to do that, but that is totally a personal preference. you're happy you can go in with your cuticle oil I'm going in again with the Nath stuff watermelon and this just smells so amazing makes me feel like I'm going on a little holiday which I'm totally not given the current circumstances but a girl can pretend and that's what it's all about so rub that in give your fingers a good moisturize and a bit of nourishment and there you go it's as easy as that these nails really come together with the final few steps, so don't feel discouraged at the start if you don't think it looks that good. I think you really need to get to the end before it comes to shape. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.